Welcome to the Boys Only Club Podcast. Sink Club. It's time to die. That was lovely. Finally, the last podcast we have to record before you exit to Japan. I might not ever come back. If only that were true. My apologies for not being able to deliver. I could still. I might not come back. What would you do in Japan if you didn't come back this time? Wait, what does that mean? You'd be, like if you'd I be leaving there? Mike behind? No, Mike's coming with me. Oh, he's coming with you too, Japan? Yeah. For, that's so great. You guys yes. are on a little vacay. Yeah, we're actually going to have a little bit of a honeymoon because when we got married last year, we Just ended back up, to work. Yeah, and we also ended up being um, like tour guides to everybody because we brought you know his family from oh, New Jersey. Oh, fuck that! I know, so we didn't have any time to ourselves. Was it was it him being a tour guide or you being a tour guide? It was both of us because like it's oh he knows really, Japan. Yeah, he knows a little bit, and um, if they ask like like inane questions, he'll be able to answer them. How much Japanese does Maikuru speak? Maikuru speaks conversational. Um, Japan's really tonal. So once you're... So it could be like, oh, or oh. Kind of, yeah, actually. Yeah. Like, it really depends. Like, if, especially if you're speaking to somebody already for a little bit, you know the setting, so mm-hmm. you can kind of ready to communicate just, you know, Is there a sounds. lot of miscommunication that happens within the Japanese language because it's so tonally different from other languages? Actually, no. Because there is so many tonal nuances, it's even more accurate and harder to misinterpret than wow. English. Yeah, English is actually bizarrely easy to misinterpret. But then why are Japanese schoolgirls so into killing people? Why are they so into like misconstruing information and it, getting uh, so developed in their own? Well, like, the killing mind. people feels good. That's one. Oh, thing. okay. Yeah, and then the mind thing. I don't know. Maybe well, psychology. Because you were just talking about that uh, in a previous, or I guess it's going to be in a future podcast, where a girl in your class, you oh, thought she was nice. Totally, yeah. she was very nice. Yeah. Then the bitch fucking clawed you up. I know with her with her talent. Yeah. Why does she have? To, why does any person have talent? Um. Honestly, I think like. Bullying in schools is like a really bad deal in Japan and like there's very very little efforts to kind of stop it So I feel like that probably plays into that a little bit I think she was just a bully like she just oh, as an individual okay. We should do a bully. Japanese lesson every podcast. We really should. What do you want to learn how to say? I mean, what's I actually kind of want to learn actual Japanese. Where would I Kip even begin? Kip told me that. Kip, well, like when we were in the car together at IKEA, he was like, "Could you like really teach me Japanese?" I'm like, "I would honestly love to." Like, really? I would, yeah, I would Dude, straight up. Dude, we should Japanese. film you giving everybody here a Japanese lesson. I know we really should. I'd love that. That would be excellent. But I don't know what to teach you guys. Like, what do you guys want to learn to know? Do you want to know real words or do you want to know how to say like big titty figures? No, I want to learn uh, as though I was learning through a school teacher. Wow, really? Yeah, I think okay. it'd be cool. To, uh, there's something like methodically. I have to admit, yeah. Obviously, obviously, weeboo culture is pretty lame. Yeah, uh, it's a little weird for me as well. But I do agree there is something about Japanese culture that is very, very cool. There's it is something really about you guys that just clicks yeah we're really weird like to be totally honest like japan is quite strange even among like asians so i feel like maybe that's where kind of the interest comes from and i'll be honest i have very little interest in china mm, i'm a little bit interested because i really like their food (laughs) but that's oh i love chinese food actually i love their food like real authentic chinese food um and also actually if you know enough japanese after a certain point you're going to start understanding chinese because it comes from the same mother language so that's wow. what's cool yeah so you understand a little bit of chinese a little bit not that's too mandarin much. right yeah yeah Ma- some a little bit more cantonese actually um not so much when it's spoken but when it's written out a lot of the mother language is the same so i totally totally understand what they're talking about like, if they're like, this tea is too hot, like, I'll, I'll know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Honestly, I just want to learn better Spanish so I can tell if the people in our building are talking shit about me. Oh, well, like, just in have the Alyssa bathroom. come in. Alyssa speaks, like, fluent Alyssa Spanish. will never come here. This She'll is so far here. below her pay grade. It really is. It really this area is. is so disturbing. It really is. Um... Yeah. Oh, I just squirted coffee into my nose. Oh, excellent. Oh, speaking of... Oh, squirting out. Squirting oh, out. my God. Into your nose. Okay, so, first of all, let's, let's set... The scene a little bit. So Steve and I have a problem where we schedule things out, you know, because we have a lot to do and a lot to fulfill. It's and been me fucking up a lot lately. Yeah, it's true. But like we give each other that, you know, like we know that each other's schedules are crazy. So it's like, oh, we need to slide it back an hour. Oh, can we like do this a different time? Like we're we, we're pretty flexible with each other yeah. and we try really hard. And but we also both don't have jobs right now. Basically, yeah, so, exactly. So, so, so we have helps. to depend on each yeah. other. <laughs> yeah. And also, yeah, you're totally right that it's it's easier to be flexible because of that. Yeah. Um. But 
I think we take it too far sometimes where we're just like, you know what, maybe we just do this tomorrow, which is what kept happening with this current podcast. Because we, like we said earlier, we shot all week yeah. for to prep for while I'm gone. And we're a little bit podcasted out. And we were supposed to shoot this like first on Thursday and then yesterday. And now it got pushed to today. And then and we're going to shoot it tomorrow after yeah. 8 a.m. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, I'm gone by then. Yeah. But um, today, even today, we slid back the schedule because, well... I don't, you were you were exhausted. That was yeah, the first one. I, uh, it was supposed to be 11 a.m. I got home yeah. at like, I think one last night after finishing the finale. We were up editing it until like the very last minute mm-hmm. and then we uploaded it. So I got home at like one and I knew my cleaners, like we I hire house cleaners every so often to come in and do what I Clean can't. Sweep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I had to wake up. I knew at like 10 for that. So I, got, I woke up at nine. Went to the bank, got cash to put on the table for them to, to oh. do, and I was just like, I want to sleep in the guest room. Good man. I slept in the guest room until like 12. And then I looked at the clock, or at my phone, and I saw that you had texted me, and you're yeah. like, so are you getting to the office anytime soon? No. And it was, I'm 25 minutes away from the office, and yeah. it was 30 this time because there were four fucking accidents on the highway. That's cool because if it's, an, if it's a Not major cool. accident, I totally get it. Yeah. If it's a major accident, I'm like, well, that's... Potentially a life-ruining experience. Yeah, potentially someone may or may not have died, you know? If you're getting an, a minor accident on the highway, you've inconvenienced me, and I hate you for it. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say, because probably you weren't paying attention. Yeah, honestly, I think drivers were a little bit crazy, because I was on surface streets, and I saw a guy do a like a complete left turn all the way from the right side. Almost killed me. I'm okay, though. What the fuck? Yeah, like, I saw that shit. You know how there are sometimes days where you see a crap load of really bad drivers? Mm-hmm. It's like, it comes in patches. Yeah. I think that's what's happening today, because, like, I saw really crazy shit today. You know, I actually feel like I experienced a lot less... Um, bad drivers than uh most people do because my car is so loud mm. most people do hear when i'm coming yeah. right behind them they get out of the way yeah of course they, 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 they I either would. like sharpen up because yeah. they're like what the f- oh is it a motorcycle and then exactly that's what i think they do because i perk up when i hear a motorcycle because i was like i don't want to be the one that kills, that kills a, a motorcycle because yeah. they're dying for sure oh for sure i was like not today not by my have hands. you ever seen a motorcyclist get hit no. That's Have something you? I hope I never see because You know it's even know your soul's gonna escape your body. Like yeah. you, you can't you're you're gonna see bad I shit. I know it's gonna happen when they're going in between the carpool lane and the far left lane because that's the little space that they're allowed to go through. They're allowed to sift right Can on the Can you that believe line. that? And then someone like merges illegally, bang rang. That's bang a bad dude. Or girl. Rang. And okay, I don't know I don't understand that rule because when I was first taking the California DMV test um, one of the questions was specifically like, what do you do or or how should motorcyclists treat the road? And one of the answers was they you treat it like everybody else does. Like, you know, they have the same rules as everybody else. And the other answers were like, you have to be extra careful for the motorists or like, and then there were two like stupid answers. I chose they have the same road rules as everyone else and I got it wrong. It's literally, you have to pay more attention to motorcyclists. That's the real yeah. answer. Can you believe that shit? Like that is not a thing in other states whatsoever. Like there is no extra care or sense for motorcyclists and it's totally your fault if you zip between people. Yeah, why are they taken more seriously here? I don't know. They're is not, it, they should not be more valued. They're maybe suicidal, they, Maybe they're thinking about it with a utilitarian sort of state of mind because mm-hmm. say a motorcyclist dies, gets decapitated on the highway, 100 <laughs> people see that, they're ruined for life. Oh, traumatized. I'd be yeah, traumatized. They're traumatized. I'd be like uh, going to work every day like... <laughs> I don't think I could drive for a bit. Yeah, no, absolutely. No. I'd be off the highway yeah, driving the highway. in general for a long time. So maybe that's what it is. Uh, maybe that is what... I don't know. So I they're really just like, that. well, people aren't going to stop driving motorcycles. We're not going to ban them. Yeah. Might as well just make people be more careful of them. It's true. Have you ever gotten, like, caught or pulled over or anything like that being in the carpool lane when there's only one of you in the car? No, have you? No. Um, and I don't understand how that works because I used to, I use scapegoat cars. Like, if I see a car doing something worse than me, I follow them because oh, I want to do. Oh, speeding. Yeah. Be, yeah. Yeah, I follow them because I'm like, this guy will get caught before me. But sometimes they pull whoever's in the back. Why? If you're if you're following somebody that's speeding, you're the easy target right off the bat. Especially oh, because if you're they're going, faster. Especially if you're going the same speed as them. Well, <clears throat> I try to make it like visually clever, not clever. I just try to make it like seem like I'm I have nothing to do with this, or at least like this guy's so much worse than me. Like this guy's clearly should be caught. Like if you're gonna go Ooh. between the two of us, really, you think I'm the one that's gonna get caught instead? Potentially, Fuck. I've seen that happen before. Oh. 
but on the way back from seeing Dunkirk the other day, oh yeah, uh, the greatest thing on the highway at night that's ever happened to me happened to me, and I know you're not going to believe it, and I know nobody listening I'm even so cares excited. at all, but I was in the middle lane. Mm-hmm. I was probably going like eighty. Sure. Um, suddenly, I noticed there are two cars, one car to each of me, each of my sides. I look to my right, it's another F-Type R. Oh my god! It's red. I look to my left, it's another F-Type R. It's, it's white. black? Oh, it's white, okay. <laughs> so, white, gray, and red. And <gasps> oh! the, it's it's perfect. And then uh, one of the guys goes like this. No And then way! we blast it oh! for a little bit. They take uh, the exit, and then I, I keep going. But it was like, oh, it was from one exit to the next. I see. Because it was like a clean road. Cool! But it was the greatest moment that's ever happened to me in my entire life. Oh my Minus god! Minus all the other cool stuff. Yeah, I God. love that so much. Like, I know that's like so dumb, but like, I I get it. I totally and I was understand. so hyped off of seeing Dunkirk too. Of course you were. Wait, you were hyped? Even I was not hyped. No, I was I hyped because yeah. it was such. I mean, I think a great movie. I thought it was a great movie as well. Actually, we should have this discussion in a little bit because I still didn't talk about what happened out of my nose today. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, but we will talk about Dunkirk because we were really excited about it. Um, so yeah, everything we pushed back even more today <gasps> because. Of his cleaner thing and also falling asleep, but also because I thought I was being really healthy and like an adult, like I was like, okay, I have a lot to do today, so I'm going to eat a really quick breakfast so I don't get fainty or angry. <laughs> and it, and I had a Trader Joe's scallion pancake that I just bought yesterday, which come frozen. And those are savory, right? They're, yeah, they're savory. Are they they're, pretty good? They, I thought it was delicious. I, I love it. I'm going to try one. I'll see if I get sick too. It was, okay, so when I was eating it, it did feel a little bit oily because I baked it in an oven. So I didn't add any oils to it, but like a lot of like, you know, trans fat kind of stuff came out. So I was like, oh, that's okay. And then I ate it. <clears throat> Oh, that doesn't feel good. Yuck. Mm-hmm. Does that make you want to throw up again? A little bit, because I like you taste it coming. Oh, out yuck! Oh, I hate yeah, that. I know, I know. I'm all messed up. That's about amazing. It. Um, so then I ate it, and everything was fine. And then 20 minutes later, I was like hurling my face off. Like it, there was so much pressure because my body was rejecting it so hard that some of it came out of my nose. And then I was like, I'm sorry, dude. I'm gonna need like 30 more minutes. <laughs> That, uh, you're so strong to just be able to do that right during during puking because um, that's almost food poisoning in a way. Oh yeah, I feel like this is the best kind of food poisoning where your body notices it immediately. So it's or I don't know if it's food poisoning. I think it's more like I'm allergic to it. So it's like get it out now before the anaphylactic shock sets in. What's the worst food? Have we talked about food poisoning on the podcast before? Uh, I feel like we have. What's I think you've talked about your worst one. Oh, it was recently. It was that one that I had when I ate at a place near SourceFed. M- Mireas? No, it was a new cafe that opened up, and I had a mushroom like pork sandwich. I didn't and... hear about this. Oh, really? No, I don't You're think sure so. You sure talk about this on the podcast? I don't think so. Well, I'll go over it briefly. Please do. Go I had on. that. Um, I was fine. I was fine throughout the day. <laughs> fine. Fine. Yeah. And then uh, it was date night, so Alyssa and I were headed to the sushi place. It was on the way sexy. there, I thought I was gonna like shit my pants. Um, my stomach was. I had bubble gut and hot snakes. Is that Kib? Is Kib <laughs> yeah, here? It's Kib. He was real. Oh, that he, was, like, the he just texted smile me too. I've ever seen. Kib, in my come life. on in. Come on in, Kib. I didn't know anyone was here. I was like, come on in. Fucking, who just locked the door? <laughs> Dude, it's the blue man. Oh shit! I tried to lock it too. That's terrible. Hello, little come boy. Sit, come sit in oh. our guest chair. This is oh our guest God. seat. Like we were just table. talking about uh, food know. poisoning experiences that we've had. I wish really? I could. Yeah. You both had food poisoning? Well, she almost she threw up today. It wasn't exactly from food poisoning. It was I from think. Threw up today? Yeah, it was terrible. It was oh, so chunks. pressury. It was chunks and pressury. Some of it came out of my nose. Chips. <laughs> came out of my nose. Whole chips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that hurts. I want to see what Kib texted like it me. Cuts me up inside. Let's see if it's any good at all. I like your socks. I'm in the office, Cute. pussy. I feel okay. It says like I don't want to scare you guys. Someone's gonna come out like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, playing wow. Overwatch. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do right <laughs> after this podcast because we shot the the finale. They look great. Ooh, we shot the finale. Um, Cute. Just uh, the past like oh, nice. couple of days, and we've been working on it nonstop. So I think it's finally time we took a little bit of a break, played some Overwatch all day. Definitely. Fuck yeah. yeah well deserved. Well deserved break. Yeah, I can't even believe how well this finale video is doing. I don't want to talk too much about it because that's exactly what we're going to be doing on the Sugar Pine 7 podcast. Yeah, we don't want to double up on that yeah. shit. What is the Sugar Pine 7 podcast? We still need to come up with a name for it. It was originally going to be I called like Behind the Pine. the Pine. I love Behind but the Pine. What's wrong with it? Cow Chop has Behind the oh. Cow Chop. Oh. I think that's kind of Behind cool, the though. Chop? Behind the Chop or something. Is yeah. that what it is? I think that's cool, though, because we're all part of the same family. I'm going to message them about it and be like, hey. What do they honestly think? You ask Brett. Yeah. He'll tell you the truth. Yeah. So I'll probably call him. And then get his like live reaction because because right you'll always be oh yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, call yeah? me now. I feel bad. I keep turning the microphone because I want. Oh, that's okay. I keep looking at this no, microphone. It's way, it's way better if they hear it in the distance anyway. Yeah. Okay. When cool. I cool. Cool. Podcast and I hear somebody in the back. I'm like, oh, it's that person. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. No, it's always really cool to do that. Yeah. Kill me with that person. All right. Uh, hopefully, Jeff. I mean, Brian. I mean, <laughs> Gadzooks. Oh, what what were the other potential options for behind the pine? That's all we had. Was behind mm, the pine. Just the sugar so pine. So- hey, Brett. Hi. You're Hi, Brett. Li- you're live on the uh, the Boys Only Club podcast right now. Unfortunately, it's a oh, hot one. Fun. I'm in my car. Yeah, we actually. I well, it's me and Kib. We have a small question for you because you don't care yeah. that much, I imagine. Um. So your your show is called Behind the Chop, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, we didn't know that. Yeah. I promise. <laughs> And our plan for the podcast was called was to be called uh, Behind the Pine. <laughs> is that is that going to be <laughs> fucked if we do that? No, that's funny. Or is it cool because is it cool because we're like a in the Let's Play family? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's such it. a that's what such a not yeah. Response? Be real, Brett. Tell us the truth. Yeah, be honest. Oh, I don't care. I feel like Cow Chop and Sugar Pine Seven are more of a truth. Sister sibling channel than some of the other groups, so yeah. I think it makes even more sense. You know what I mean? So this yeah, is gonna be cool sisters. if we do this. You're fine with it? Maybe ask the rest of the guys. Get a vote. I like it, and I like the Ryan Gosling film Place Beyond the Pine. Actually, it's oh, not cool. the same movie, honestly. But it was. You know, I mean, the plot was definitely weak. Um, yeah. But definitely. the characters were all great. They had great actors. The guy who played uh, the dad was really good. Yeah. I don't know his name. He was in. Uh, he was in Rogue One. Oh, yeah, he was in Rogue One. I see. All right, well, uh, now that I've heard your um, disdain for the idea, I'll give it some more thought. Wow, was that a hyena laugh? <laughs> All right, Brett, that's Stop enough from you. Talking, <laughs> it's like... It's literally an exhale of breath. He's like... <laughs> yeah. So that was so squeaky. I, I don't know. know if it was the speakerphone or so what, but it was... No. <laughs> he has really tiny pipes, I think. Oh, my mom and dad are calling me. Fuck my life, dude. Here, I'll answer it. No, it's, uh, I don't want to answer it on the podcast because I, I want to talk to them. I haven't talked to them in a little while. Oh, cute. Call my parents more, too. I don't do that. Anymore. I haven't seen my them. parents in, of a... in a while. Well, I'm going to see them in Hello. a little bit. Because I'm in the favorite? middle of a, yeah, I'm in the middle do. of a podcast right now, but can I call you back right afterwards? They're, um, they're mainly uh, Japanese speaking, right? Yeah, they are. Well, okay. now, now bye bye, they I love you. speak Japanese because they live in Japan. Oh, wow. Yeah. So when they speak English, is it a little bit? Can't wrong? wait. Yeah, it's, it's like not as good anymore. Yeah. so funny. Yeah, my my mom's English is still pretty good, but my dad's English is like pretty spastic now. I don't do any accents, though I want to. No, this is a place, dude. We talked about um, whether or not a word was offensive for like a whole podcast, and we did plenty of accents there. Okay, because I daddy want to have a talk tire. You want to have a talk tire? Talk Are you tired today? I'm going to sleep. That doesn't even sound like anything. No, it's that little girl. Have a little sippy, baby. Crap, where's mine? Oh, well. This was yours. Oh, whoops. Oh, hey, wait, Kip, since you're here, let's talk about Dunkirk. Because we were gonna, we were about to talk about it a little bit. So, obviously, Dunkirk is a very, um, very straightforward story. Yeah, with a very clear plot. And I think it's, it's separated from other war movies in a, in a way, because, I mean, there isn't a lot of dialogue, Mm -hmm. which is the point. I mean, no one's made movies with a lot of dialogue. Why does that always shut off? What the hell? Would it actually shut off? Yeah, no, it's recording. No, it doesn't stop recording. But so, also, Nolan knows exactly what kind of movie he wants to make. You have seen it, right? Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. What does that mean? No one knows what kind of movie he wants to make. He knows that it's not gonna be like uh, when he's making a dial a non-dialogue heavy movie. He's not going into it thinking like, man. I'll drink all of it if you let me. Uh Oh. (laughs) (laughs) I don't even know what I was saying with that. It's the point of the movie wasn't to have dialogue. Yeah. Mm. Well, were the, people upset by that? Because yeah, I thought people it were was, really upset by it. But fuck, but really? it was a device. That's a device, though, in it like the so storytelling. Clearly, that, like clear, that that's what it was meant. Yeah, to be. and the and even like even the most base concept of like raising all the sound levels to be insane was the whole point. It's like, not a you, monologue-driven no. character movie. Yeah, you you need to be placed <clears throat> there. That's the whole point of it. You feel like you're there because like there the silence is real. You know, yeah, it's yeah. not like everybody's having like all these jolly conversations while they're waiting in line on the beach. Like that's not what's happening at all. So you like. My sister last night. <laughs> no, I tried. How would you know? <laughs> so, yeah, like I feel there's like there can't possibly be complaints about that, but there are. There are there? from people that I thought I respected too. What the mm. fuck? Okay, I was just gonna say. To there's a there's an author that is on Twitter. Um, she's a best-selling author, and she tweeted like that Dunkirk was not a good movie because it needed a uh, a script. And I'm thinking, I'm like, eat a shit. Yeah, no! it was literally in my mind. I was like, eat a shit, dude. The Your books suck. And 
like the script isn't a script isn't just dialogue. There's so much more in a script. Yeah, than yeah. Than dialogue. Of course, Jesus. dude. Even a solitary stare does everything, yeah. and then yeah. some. Like, picture tells a thousand women. Too. There, a thousand women. <laughs> I don't know. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, and I, I enjoy war movies with dialogue, too. Like, I love Saving Private Ryan. I love Black Hawk Down. Yep. Oh, I don't quite care about um, war movies. I watch it for the action, which makes sense, because that's why I don't really care about the dialogue no matter what. So maybe yeah. I am coming at it from a different perspective. But, like, but this one I enjoyed simply because it was a beautiful movie. It was well told. Yeah. All the characters made so much sense. And also... All the little hints that, like, you're not quite sure if you're supposed to pay attention to, where they glimmer at stuff. Like, if you watch it probably the second time, you'll notice everything, I feel like. And I imagine also, they talked about as much as people would talk in real life. That, exactly. Yeah, there wasn't, That's, like, forced conversations yeah. for script purposes. Exactly. Yeah. There was barely any exposition. It was wonderful. It was like going into it. I mean, it, it was obviously not a relaxing movie, mm -hmm. but it really brought you in because you're not. Because a monologue or something, that really takes you out of the moment, especially in like a war scene. Like in, especially if it's irrelevant, just to get yeah. the character back. Talking around. about how they, uh, this scene where they're just in a church. I mean, it was a Saving Private Ryan scene. It's a very impactful scene, but it wouldn't make any sense in Dunkirk where this guy is talking to the whole group about how he, when he was a kid, he would his mom would come in and say goodnight to him and he wouldn't say anything back. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't know why. And then he started crying. And it's just like, that's obviously a very emotional scene. I didn't do it justice. Um, but <laughs> imagine that in Dunkirk. Like, that shit no. does not make sense. No, it doesn't what even fit. What I about Dunkirk is that, like, you didn't have any character background. You didn't know where the, anybody came from. Yeah. yeah. You just immediately saw what you saw and saw the raw emotions. You're in it. Which is what's so real. Yeah. Exactly. It was like, like being thrown into war. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. obviously, there are a few spoilers in this because we can't really possibly talk about it without giving some of the plot away and the characters. But, like, even, you know. The the German guy, like even that, like that that's the you whole point. You mean the French guy? No, the German one. Um, no, he actually was French. The guy who was on the boat. The guy that was burying another. American he was French. Oh, yeah, he was French. You remember? Because they were like, he's German, <coughs> and then he spoke, and he was speaking in French. He was he was speaking. He in was French? French. I thought he was speaking in German. No, he, said he was French. Spoken. No. No, he's French. He did say it was sp he spoke in French. Really? Yeah, he was That's French. That's why he didn't understand anybody. I no, I knew he didn't understand yeah, anybody. I thought it was because he was German. No, he's French. Whoa! Wait, then why did they? There, then there shouldn't have been that much animosity. He's not well, an enemy. Well, they didn't know. They thought he was the German for a long. Yeah, time. and it, obviously, like in a in a scenario where they're you know in being that, shot that, at inside of like a, that thing, yeah, then yeah, they're yeah, gonna just, just push the practice. person out who's the least like I them. I love that Harry Styles did that too. Like, yeah. He again, like you. Did you talk about the comparison to Heath Ledger that the director did? Yeah. Ooh, no, we didn't that? talk about that. But honestly, it's there's. I don't know why he would even say that. I think he was just trying to provide gravitas to the whole situation because people are very like, skeptical about unnecessarily. Yeah, I, there's no reason to compare him to Heath Ledger. Yeah. Because he wasn't what? giving the same opportunities that Heath Ledger was. Yeah. What? Who's comparing the them director? even? Oh, Christopher, Christopher Nolan, Nolan. Yeah. I, I, I believe at a certain point him. said that he was as approving of. Harry Styles as he was of Heath Ledger. He thinks he saw oh. the same potential there. And I'm I'm sure he did. Yeah. I'm sure he did. But he also, like, why make that statement if you know your movie's going to come out and uh, Harry Styles isn't going to say the same kind of shit? Yeah. He wasn't, yeah. In, he wasn't in a role to show as mm -mm. much. Uh, like, Nobody had a role. No, like it wasn't. Person. Yeah, there's no, like, extravagance to that character. Of course there is, like, in this war movie, but, you know, Heath Ledger's character is literally, like, a An comic, iconic villain. Yeah, and from... A comic book, like yeah. you know, obviously yeah, the yeah. traits are yeah, like they're not human traits. You the know? problem I had with that was then the whole movie I'm like waiting for this powerful moment with Harry Styles and like uh, I thought it was great, I thought it was amazing. But, but you were but expecting I, I something else. A little bit more, I was like, please give him a fucking scene where he can. Yeah, oh, that but his sucks. Didn't call for it. He did exactly. What I wonder he what he yeah, went yeah. through to get that role. I wonder how he got it. I don't know. Did I he wonder, try out for it? Did he I audition? Mean, he must have. Dude, sure like there. there were so many people from. The Dark Knight, though. Or, like, so many people from, like, his in past movies movie. in that movie. Michael yeah. Caine was in the movie. Yeah, every time I saw a character, I was he like, was, why? Um, <laughs> he was the voice in the airline thing giving them orders in the beginning, I think. Mm. Yeah, and then who else was in it from uh, his previous movies? Bane. Oh, yeah, Tom Hardy was in it. Oh, yeah, that was beautiful. He did great. Yeah. That was it, though, right? Um, it must have been. No, oh, there's wait, no. more. Um, there's oh, no more. Oh, oh, uh, Killian Murphy. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Killian Murphy was the guy... The soldier Scarecrow. that was on the boat that they picked up who was uh, stranded. Oh, yeah, he was awesome. Don't talk about that one, though, because that's a huge spoiler. Sure. <laughs> um, I'm going to restart the camera real quick. Let's pray for an advertisement. 
I feel bad. Dude, yeah, I know. I was in your literal position yesterday for Maud's so podcast. Funny. It was the worst. Yeah, our podcast set really sucks, and we need to change it. We need to fix it up, but it's okay. That'll come with time. Yeah, I'm going to do it while you're gone, probably. Okay, cool. I'm just um, going to make a set in here. No, just, really just don't go <laughs> crazy with the budget, and just let me know what you're purchasing. Yes. And then you'll be fine. And then I'll siphon the money towards Absolutely. you. Absolutely. <laughs> Shall I look up the other topics? I'll siphon your money. We had the puking conversation. That was oh a gross one. Oh, my God. It was so bad. Oh, I just wanted to say, as I get older, I'm learning that I'm becoming more and more allergic to different things Same. and it's fucking me up That's normal. I hate this why is this happening dude I take such I I don't take such good care of my body actually I've completely destroyed my body with traveling in the last year that it kind of makes sense that I'm super fucked up right That's now. That's crazy. I feel like traveling should make your body stronger because you're uh, introduced to so many pathogens. Um, I think I was physically too exhausted all the time because <clears throat> I literally always felt like I was a little bit sick. So do you think you've destroyed your immune system? You know, I feel like it would have made it better. Yeah, I, yeah, I feel like I should have gotten stronger, but that's like definitely not what happened. Like my skin fell apart. Like my hair thinned out. Oh, your skin like, fell apart? What the fuck? Yeah, How? like chunks. What? what? Yeah. Are you joking? Well, I mean, I used to have like glorious young. Do you take Accutane? Skin. <laughs> yeah. Should I take? Should I get it's on Accutane? Leprosy. Leprosy. What's Accutane? Oh, oh, the the acne medication. It's that acne medication. You don't have just, acne. You have almost no acne. But it could make your face more smooth. I Why don't, <gasps> get the laser, get your face lasered like I Should did. Should I actually? Yeah, dude, it felt so good. D did you notice a big difference? Um, I did notice that it, my skin did kind of like come back and also the fine lines on my forehead disappeared. Oh, cool. I have yeah. like, I have like grill marks. Yeah, when you do this. I have this. like griller's face. Where's griller's grill face? Like one grill mark out. I just have like stuff right here and right there. They're like little dots. No, they're just and then smileys. Have, and then does it work on your nose too? Do they do your nose? They laser your nose, yeah. So will I get all my sebaceous filaments taken out? See, those are different. Your sebaceous filaments are, uh, it's like in the second layer of skin, which the laser doesn't How penetrate. How do I get to them? How I do I find you them? You might want to just go to a dermatologist. They can't help me. No one can help me. Anyone oh, can help me. just get a new nose. Yeah? You know a guy who does sebaceous filament removal? Who taught me how to do it. How do you do it? Do you just push? No. Want or not? No, I don't want the bed. I don't want my teeth <laughs> pulled out. I want my sebaceous filaments pulled out. Okay, your spacious filaments later. Spacious <laughs> filaments. <Spacious. laughs> I can't wait to play Overwatch, dude. Me too. Oh, uh, what time is it? Oh yeah, we just started. Oh, I was gonna um, ask you about uh, with your Japan travel and everything. Oh yes. Do you have plans to get us little gifts from the, uh, yes, from the office? Yes, of course. Like yes, I'm of course. She's gonna get us. She's gonna get us an office scroll from her temple. Isn't that yeah. dope? Well, it's, it's Tell probably, me what it is. yeah, I'm probably going to get you guys um, a talisman from my shrine that protects a your talisman. business. A talisman! Protects our business. Yeah, yeah, it's a business protection talisman, which is we like really We get robbed serious. right away. It was, <laughs> oh, oh sorry, I got you guys the cursed one. God, no, now I'm scared. I'll make oh, sure I get you the right one. Are they, do they sell cursed ones? No, I just don't want bad things to happen because, just in case. I don't want you guys to blame me. <laughs> I won't blame you, Reyna. I don't believe in your little mumbo jumbo. <laughs> my little hippy dippy yeah. religion. Is yeah. it almost like the hippies of the United States? Oh my god, the Buddhists are such freaking, we are such hippies, well, they're dude. they're very nice, right? Well, yeah. And we I just, imagine you don't get a lot of Buddhist rapists, unlike uh, no, the Catholic Church. No, we're just oh. all like happy and we just want like, you know, everybody to be happy and like, we just... Let's exaggerate. Buddha's raping. Buddha's, Buddha's raping. raping! Oh my god, is that the title of this Buddha's book? Raping, Buddha's raping, raping. So, No, we can't put raping. Stop the tickling my feet, dude. That tickles so bad. I finally found my sandals. <laughs> Stop it. Stop, little bitch. Ew. Oh, I'm so stop sorry. Well, then stop tickling my asshole, dude. Worse. I'm sorry. Stop tickling my fucking asshole. Stop tickling. Stop tickling me. How are you getting to his asshole? Long Easily. Fingers. <laughs> long <laughs> fingers? You point up one finger? What's, um... I I say this in long fingers. Can you get us a really oh. interesting alcohol, though? Yes, I can get you guys Japanese sake? whiskey. You want Japanese sake? Whis what separates Japanese whiskey from American whiskey? Um, I actually don't know, but there was, like, an entire, like, drama about... Uh, Japanese whiskey because it's actually what? new over there. Yeah, it's new. Yeah, Japanese whiskey is like only I. It, it has a very like shallow history so far. So Japanese people are now getting very very into whiskey. Oh, so, and that's dangerous, right? No, why? Well, because of who they are. Oh yeah. Inhibitions. Exactly. Lower. And the implications. <laughs> and the implications. And imps. Yeah, and don't, you don't want those girls. Japanese imps getting to the whiskey. Oh Otherwise, you're going to have uh, a lot of blood and soil on your hands. Inside of the whiskey. You have a lot of swelling. Great, excellent. Inside swelling. <laughs> swelling is always inside. So There's no outside a, swelling. A little Japanese whiskey. Yeah, I'll get you guys Japanese like alcoholic. Can we get beverages. sake? Yeah, I'll get sake. you guys sake. Yeah. Sake. 
Is it sake or sake? It's sake. Yeah, because Hanzo says sake. Yeah. He says soccer. He doesn't soccer! say sake. He also says um uh turd. No, there's something where he calls himself a turd. I'm a little turd bitch. Basically, that's what it sounds like every time, and I can't believe they let that that slide because uh what it sounds exactly. Abu Dabu Rocky Hayana! Oh my god! Lion King, the hyenas scare me every time! Ska, you bitch! I love ska music! Ew. I feel like he's probably saying something real, like, to be honest. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blizzard's, like, real serious about that game, so I'm sure he said something real. Especially if he's pronouncing sake correctly. I know, dude, I feel so bad. This must be so uncomfortable. Oh, this is so much I'm yeah, looking up Hanzo's alt right now. Oh! Yeah, tell me what it is and I'll translate it for you. Oh, Kib, we were at... Kib. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's exactly it. what it is. That's and not then a Genji thing. goes, Ryojin no ki wakure. The <laughs> dragon becomes me. Can you say that? Huh? <laughs> the, the dragon becomes me. You are... Waga wa ni naru. Wari wa ni naru. This says it's Ryujin no ken wo kurai. Ryujin no ken wo kurai. Hey, that's it. But say it angrily. Say it angrily. Ryujin no ken wo kurai. And then do the one above it, Hanzo's one. えっとね、龍が我が敵を食らう。龍が我が敵を食らう。ぶ、せえ、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう
Um, I want to learn. I just assemble when the rain in Spain stays mainly on the plane. The what? Wait, what's Ronnie Radke's big red rash? Uh, Say, I've got a rash, and I'm talking about it. <laughs> That's for you. I've got a rash, and I'm talking about it. I want to say that. Wait, I don't know how to say a rash in Japanese. Oh, then say, I have a, a boil. No, a lesion. I have a lesion. Yeah. I watch the show Legion. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on a second. Um, I have a lesion, and I want to, what's the other part? Just say, I have, we'll start off slow. I have a lesion. Kizaguchi ga aru. Kizaguchi naru. Kizaguchi naru. You kind of have to say where it is, because you're literally just saying there is a, like, open... Say, my window. arm hurts. Ude ga itai. Ude ga itai. Good, good, actually. Ude ga itai. What? Ooh. Ooh, wait, wait, what? Why are you kind of good at this? Udega itai. You know what? Probably because you can sing a little bit. Well, Kib can too, and he's shitty at Japanese. No, he's not. Oh, do one sentence. <laughs> no, no, seriously. That sounds Mexican. I, it's a little bit Mexican, but you guys sound pretty good. Sorry, Spanish. Wait. Dude, you guys sound really good. Udega itai. It's like stressing me out. Udega itai. Is that it? <laughs> that was the best. <laughs> <laughs> See you tega later. I, I can do a Japanese accent. Yeah, sort you, of. No, you're. Really it, you have good. to. You have to go a little bit racist with it, though. You do like have to go idea, a little bit. Yeah, because you, that's the only way to do it. Of course, you have to like. Oh, sink up. So yeah, like you. I know, and also that even sounds good. You kind of sound like my dad. Like okay, you guys are weirdly good. You guys should be proud of yourselves. Say, and um, honestly, it's because you guys can sing. My house is on fire. Ie ga kaji ni natteru. Ie ga kaji ni natteru. Ie ga. Ie ga. Kaji ni, kaji ni, natteru. Ie ga kaji ni natteru. Why are you guys good? Ie ga go pao pao in my bow wow. I listen to a bow wow. Bow wow. The bow wow dog. <laughs> <laughs> the bow wow dog. That's what they call the rapper. I listen to a Bluetooth. I got the bow wow dog on a this. CD Blu-ray. <laughs> oh, Blu-ray. <laughs> on the wire. She's on the wire. <laughs> She's leaving me for the wire, man. You have to say reaving me. She's leaving me for we the wire. We can't pronounce L's. That's a real thing, by Kip, the way. Kip, what do you think about the word oriental? I think that it's funny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Completely not about being offensive or not. That's amazing. Uh, fuck it. Oh, that's excellent. I do not think it's racist. Me neither. Same. I think it's a description for a certain um, gr ethnic group. Yeah. So do I. Yeah. I mean... I think we mentioned this, oh, in a future podcast, but um, the main issue was the fact that it pointed to something that was so hyper exotic, but like, honestly, How it it is, dude, yeah, it is, like, honestly, even I, as somebody that grew up in the US, but I was born in Japan, Japan is like a fucking another dude, world. and we're fucking fat. Yeah, you guys are- We're fat actually, asses. you guys are fine. No, I mean Americans. So, Americans are a little bit, but like, it is a whole nother world over there, so I feel like it's totally okay that it's as exotic as it- I think people think it is. Well, what is, yeah, is dedukai anything? No, it means like you want to go out. Really, dedukai? Dedukai is like, will it come out? So actually, if you want to ask, like, is your shit coming out? Dedukai. I will not dedukai. Dedukai poopi. Dedukai unchi. Would you dedukai? Do you dedukai for me? Unchi is poopy. Orewa means me. Like, I am masculine. I am masculine. What is ayahuasca? Nothing. Okay. Ayo. <laughs> that's what our is, national um, anthem. What's the the ping pong rain lady? <laughs> I think that's China. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wrong language. Very good. Very very good. Fuck, dude. I gotta pee so bad all the time. We're not gonna get to any of these questions. Oh no no, just, no, no get to the totally questions. Fine. No, let's do it. Should we just do a speed round? Yeah, let's do. Well, no, actually, we don't even have to speed it up. There's actually quite a bit of time. Oh cool. So we've got one from Minty at Plus Ultra. That must be a convention that's happening right now. Minty. Oh honey. no, Plus Ultra is. Oh, it's uh, happening already. My Hero Academia reference. How do you feel oh, about right. the progression so far as Boys Only Club? What? Uh, just wanted to know what your thoughts on it were. What is that? What our progression, our progression so far? Like how we've gone from nothing to oh, barely nothing, barely still nothing. Um, and maybe like what we're doing in the future, possibly. Yeah, probably. Um, well, I think actually for a weekly podcast, we're doing quite well. Yeah. Um, and although. It's not like we put up trash or anything, but we also don't put in like half as much of the effort that we probably should yeah, be. Yeah, we need a third member who can do shit. Yeah, we need somebody that can like help us out a little bit just because oh. we have our own schedule. Somebody that's not part of Sugar Pine 7. Yeah, somebody that's oh, not yeah. doing dual. Perfect. Or maybe it should be somebody that's like a little bit understanding of both sides because they need to negotiate both our schedules. Uh, maybe, but we'll see. 
I think it should also be somebody that can host. Oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Besides you, Kib. What the fuck, dude? I know. You have so much going on. I have nothing. You have barely anything going on. <laughs> I'll take over from here, guys. I don't um, mind. I'm down. Anyways. So I think we're just going to eventually add more content to it. I think you talked about gaming. Yeah, bit. Um, just by virtue of being a part of Rooster Teeth, gaming is a component that we always have to kind of keep in mind. And... I'm down because I kind of miss gaming. Um, when we were forced to do it every single day all the time, it was very stressful and I mm -hmm. wasn't enjoying it anymore. And I only went to things that I knew I would enjoy. And then that got boring as well. But now that I'm off of it, I do kind of want to get back in. Like I miss, like when I hear you play, when I hear you guys talking about Overwatch, like I really, really want to play. Yeah. Or like, um, I think I randomly came across a Halo video and I was just like, oh fuck, I miss Halo so bad. Oh, I fucking miss I miss Halo. I can't believe that the competitive Halo scene still exists. Does back, it? Back in the day when the Halo scene was like completely dead, uh, it was a nightmare. And now they're having these million dollar contests. Oh really? I didn't know it's that. It's unbelievable. It's sponsored by Microsoft. And I don't know uh. how Microsoft's making any money on that, but. I remember I used to watch Chris Puckett all the time. Oh, yeah. I love him. Chris Puckett, huge fan. <laughs> I love him so much. I don't know him. Um, he, oh, he always blah, 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 did the MLG top 10 things um when he did like the top 10 like best shots or fails i was on that once <gasps> i was no either way! i don't remember if i was on the third one or what but i was uh my gamer tag was rm1 conine what it the hell is that shit. it was my clan because of uh childhood mistakes dude i i don't remember Wait, i think it meant like red moss it was really lame everything got deleted when i was going through the footage to delete stuff so it wouldn't the card wouldn't be full also it's a 128 gigabyte card like fuck off i know, you know? seriously my god Jesus um, Christ. I deleted the first half of the podcast, so no. I guess what'll, what'll have been going in there were, were drawings. You've already seen them. Great. Little Thank drawings you. of us. Just It'll be fun. Maybe I'll hire Joel Rubin to do it. Oh, yeah. that. Oh, my gosh. That'd be so fun. He did actually. drawings for the Boys and I podcast. That's cool. That's so cool. Maybe I'll see if he wants to do that. What, like right now and today? Because this goes up tomorrow. Never mind. I'll do it myself. Okay. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. You wanted a day off, too, but this is... This is what happens. Oh, yeah. And plus, Autumn happens. will be cutting it together. Yeah. So that'll be fine. Okay. Wow, Thank you, though. Autumn. Jesus, I can't believe. Can, in the both I know. Can, me. Me only. Really, me. Okay. Disappointed in Steve. Yep. I mean, can we. Because I should be babysitting him more? Yes. I need to be babysat, Reina. You've this talked so, about this with me. I can't believe all if you, people, you would delete footage. Like, no, I do it a lot. Were you just going really fast? Yeah, I was going really fast, and then I didn't think that I was going to catch up that quick. And then I, del I saw that I deleted. Um, uh, because I was right on, I was deleting the mod podcast. Mm, yeah, you already yeah. had the transferred, and then I deleted one that one I thought was after. the exact same thing. I mean, that's happened to me before, but actually, no, it hasn't. No, it's just I, no, it I fuck up constantly. It's a constant slew of fucking oh, up. No. Slew of fucking up. But that's okay. I guess I forgive you. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. And I have a question for us. Yes, give us the question. The question is, who's gonna be the best man at Steve's wedding, Reina or Kib? <laughs> Wait, doesn't it say what is going to be the best? Oh, it says what is going to be the best man. Who? What will Subtick's best We're man be, Rainer or Kim? We're not human. Why can't we both be your best man? Has that ever happened before? Two well, best men? Well, how about... He also, I wasn't your best man. Nobody was my best man. Why? Because in a Japanese wedding, there is nothing like that. That is even better. I Oh, then you should have just been there? Yeah. Just standing with us at the altar in my shrine? No, Hunter's going to be my best man. How dare you? Mm. You will who is this guy? Are you serious? Who's Hunter? Who's Hunter? You tell me. Hundar. Hunter? Are you oh, serious? Hundar. <laughs> Don't you dare. You already told me it was me. Wow. If this is real, heartbroken. Truly. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're going to have to find out. <laughs> May 31st. Really? 2018? No. Oh. oh I, I don't know when. Date. No, I wish. Mm. It's 2019, though. Wait, 19. can you guys uh, make a quick day trip out to New York? For one day in October. No, I'd rather kill myself. On October 23rd. I'm not going to go to your second marriage. Damn it. Second marriage? <laughs> yeah, Reina's dating a guy from Japan named uh, Modest Yahoo. Modest yeah, Yahoo. And, and yet I'm going to marry Modest Yahoo in America, and I married Mike in Japan. So a lot of Let's the timelines really don't add up. It's a uh, Nolan movie. It's a... It's a green card marriage. So why are you getting married again? Just be for all your American friends? Um, yeah, because um, we only had Mike's immediate family go out to us in Japan. Because okay. like you want costly. all of his little buddies to see it too? Well, I 
think his grandma feels a little bit left out, which I totally understand. And he does have and a lot of family. Gonna die soon anyway, right? Oh yeah. So she old? She getting there? <laughs> not one of them. Um, but yeah, it just it does feel kind of one sided. Um, and I personally feel kind of guilty. Which is and weird. fair. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna do it on the same day over there, or we're planning to. Dude, there's no time. I might not. We might not. When did you guys? Why don't you have a marriage in a, the fucking like middle ground between Japanese people and uh, American people, like in in uh, Europe or so something? So what people like Alaskan people? Go to Alaska, yeah. Go to Alaska. Or the Philippines or something. No, because if we did a destination with weeding, Nobody it's like come. no one would come. I mean, maybe that would have been the best idea, to be honest. Why then not you like, guys just get ripped in Vegas? Oh, man, we should have. Go through a drive through They have that. I had no idea. Yeah, it's really... drive through weddings. No, it's so icky. Did you think that was even true, Kib? Kib's picking at his dick under the, underneath the table. That's not what's happening. No, you don't have to do it just because he said it, you know? I do, though. <laughs> wait, sh- sh- Oh, wait, guys. No, no, no. Oh, God. No, I don't like that. Oh, I hate this. Does it even? Oh! That's the grossest noise. Was it even pick it up, or was that just for us? <laughs> I imagine it was just for us, oh. but it's if you didn't uh, see or hear, uh, Kib picked his asshole and then sucked on his fingies. I see that I was clearly digging for gold. Ass gold. Ass gold. <laughs> Sounds like an ancient castle in Lord of the Rings. Oh my god. Oh yeah. I mean like Asgard. <laughs> Are you not watching Game of Thrones? No. no. Why? I wish I was. Dude, you guys, it's so good. I heard this season's even more amazing than any season before. Oh my god, it's good again. It's so good. It's it been got go- bad? N- well Did it drop off? Mm, you said I, it was political for a little while. And two then, seasons ago, it was political and a little bit too wordy for my liking. And then last season was fucking amazing. Really? And then this season's fucking amazing. Damn it. Maybe it was three seasons I ago. ended after the mountain crushed the guy's eyes. Oh, my God. There's so much that... Ha- the season after that, I think, is the political one that I'm not a big fan of. But everything after that's been so action-packed. It's fun. It's a good ride. I'm enjoying it a lot. So what is the hardest part about having to make fresh, hot, new content almost every day? It's a question mm. from... Somebody. You get tired. Yeah. Like, I mean, even if it's something really that you really is. like. Yeah, that's all it is. You'll get burnt you f- out on it. You physically just get tired. Like, Kip, what's the most um, burnt out you've ever been on YouTube? Doing gaming, man. Gaming. 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 Same. Or, yeah, same. Like, you want to you fucking lose your fucking identity, dude. It's awful. Yeah, gaming every day was um, one of the worst experiences. I don't know how people have done that for years. I don't know either. Um, I did notice something very specific about gaming that, like, Maddie and I used to talk about a lot. Um, when you're putting it on camera and like streaming and stuff you have to kind of narrate what you're doing and then you also have to exaggerate what you're doing right yeah Yeah, so like that kind of fucks with you a because usually when you want to do a game really well you're pretty quiet you know Mm. you're not talking to yourself um and also having to think about narrating things correctly while you're progressing in a game kind of makes you lose a bunch of train of thoughts well it makes me lose a bunch of train of thoughts and i feel like i was always 30% 30% dumber when I was gaming. Absolutely, like, yeah. in my gaming That's videos, incredible. I'm certainly 30% dumber. Progress in a game because I was mm-hmm. just being, trying to be entertaining. Yeah, and then, exactly. So I felt like, for me, both things suffered. Like, not only was, like... Yeah, yeah because to concentrate, you have to be quiet. Yeah, so, like, my narration was bullshit, and also my actual gaming was bullshit. So, like, you end up not really giving... You don't have a product that you're 100% about. Which is so crazy because I guess the counter to being like good at the game is being loud and obnoxious. Mm. But is that what people want? Do people want to hear you being loud or do they want to see you actually accomplishing things? I don't. It depends on the audience. Dude, is it your it's, phone? Yes, yeah. It <laughs> oh no. Um that is the weirdest thing that I've experienced. Um I'm not a big fan of like people that just are very like excitable and loud and PewDiePie. screamy. Yeah, or like or no, not even PewDiePie, like even he I mean, like, I don't even mind him just because I feel like he's kind of on a different scale and level and he's calling to a different audience. Um, But, like, other, you know, gamers and Twitch streamers, like, a bunch of them really just reactively scream to things that aren't even maybe scream-worthy. It really bothers me. Like, I used to not care about it, but, like, now I watch people and I was like, this should, there should be a bar of, like, I don't know, of quality, really, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I, I have the same issue with people that dye their hair. Oh, yes. I understand. They're the same. I'm just same, kidding. I don't have an issue with anybody that does I just think it's funny that it's like every Twitch streamer. But there's so, yeah, it's true. But like, 
uh, the the screamy people, even though like I'm being evil and being like, oh, that's not really that entertaining for me personally. They have so many people that are into it. Yeah. You know, what is it about dyeing your hair that separates you from other people? I think now not dyeing your hair is what separates you from other people. Maybe, yeah. It does to some degree. I feel like it makes more sense to have a really like Wacky. just an original personality. Yeah. Rather than just dyeing your hair. Well, I will say this. Um, I loved becoming blonde. Like, it's literally Oh, that's my right. You dyed thing. your hair. Sorry. Yeah. No, no. It's fine. Like, well, it's not like a wacky color. I was originally going to color it gray or pink. Um, Didn't Which you? is why. Yeah. Well, I it was gray was for cool. a bit when it was brown. Like, I remember brown that. And gray. Really nice. Thank you. What would you... You said pink? Yeah. I wanted it to gray either be gray or pink. One or the other. Not but both? Then, not both. But then when I became blonde, I like really, really enjoyed it. And I liked that it was a natural color oh, rather yeah. than not natural on me, of course. But um, I felt like it was really easy to identify me. That a that blonde Asian immediately. It's me. And yeah, I, I don't I know any other blonde that. Asian right now. Exactly. Like I, I needed that. There you go. I'm trying to think of other I Asians mean, I know. None. None. Just oh, me. Kevin. You mean Kenny. That's the one. <laughs> Kevin. Wait, you know Kenny? He's met Kenny. Aww. I love Kenny. He said some terrible things in front of Kenny. And what I'm about so Chris? Yeah, like what? He's never met Chris. Something you said on the podcast today. What? I'm not going to say it. Do it, idiot. No. I'm not, it doesn't make me an idiot not to do it. I bet you don't even know. That's why you're not saying it. No, I'm, saying it be, I'm not saying it because it's because bad. You know? No, I know. You I know what it is. No, I know what it is. I do. Well, let's move on. It's <laughs> the other F word. But... Uh, what were we talking about before we, Kim and I had that argument? I don't know. Do, have you ever met Chris? Yes, I think I've also met Chris. Asian Chris? Yeah. Chris is my little somber. brother. Very somber, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Somber. Brother Chris. What other Asians are there? But he's Chinese. He's not your brother. Yeah, he is. He's my brother. He's confused. His last name is Seto. He thinks it's pronounced Seto. It's Seto. Seto's a Japanese-ass last name. He's fucking Japanese, and he doesn't know it. That's so funny. I'm fucking telling you, his whole family's been duping him. He's goddamn Japanese. I bet you. So they're just like identifying as another. Yeah. Seto. Okay. I, I fucking bet you he's actually Japanese. Oh, I, I remember there was a character, I think it was in Yu Gi Oh! Seto Kaiba. Yeah! That's a oh. Japanese name! Oh. Well, kinda. Is that. it not? No, I mean. Kaiba. Se- What's Kaiba? Like Kaiba? Kaiba? Oh, God, yeah. That wait. So did you ever watch. Was my mayor. Oh, Jeez. wait. Did you ever watch. Um, whatchamacallit, a bridge? Yu Gi Oh! Bridged? No. What's Yu Gi Oh! Bridged? No, you never watched Yu Gi Oh! Bridged? No. Dude, it's so funny. You'd love that shit. It's so like. Oh, I don't think I like it. No, it's so like RV and the Chief level, like old style what? YouTube poop type of shit oh, humor. Cool. Yeah, you'd like it because it's like really voicey. I might watch an RV and the Chief episode today. I loved RV and the Chief. They're still on YouTube, right? so good. Have you heard of RV and the Chief? I've heard of it. It's, it's a like Reverse Blue. Yeah. But like, uh, more <laughs> yeah, it's exactly closed it. Closed and. I've definitely seen it. And I think more it's comedic. No, it's there? just puppets. Waiting room, there's one like that. It's just a funny. Uh, no, I haven't. Anyway, I think um, our time is like almost at a close, right? I mean, kind of, except for the fact that we not only a lost footage, but also we stopped a bunch of times, so it's probably not quite. We as probably accurate. have five minutes minus this. Probably. Dicks out, bad boy. Okay, Raina, get your dick out. Right. Cool. So, did you hear about Raina throwing up earlier today? I didn't hear about it, but she said she threw up. Yeah, she threw up because she had an allergic reaction. What are you allergic to? You're allergic to shellfish. You're allergic to uh, <gasps> You're allergic everything. to shellfish? Well, like, that's why my, I have black eyes. And what? Uh, allergic shiny. Yeah. No fucking way. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's allergic to everything. Cats, fucking air, mold, trees, everything. Do you take medicine for it? I need to be. I was on allergy shots, but I didn't finish them when I was younger, so I still have allergies. I need a leg. I need to go get them today. So if you finish, could you finish your allergy shots now? No. Yeah, as an adult, I could. No, yeah. Wait, you could? I could, but I'd have to go to Canada and do that. Oh my god. Why the hell haven't you done that? Because it's annoying. I have to go in once a week forever for years. Well, really? That's perfect. That's b- so do you feel much time. better when you do that? Yeah. And then I wouldn't be tired all the time. I wouldn't be tired all the time. Wait, what, what are your symptoms then? Like, what? I don't understand. Are you always ill? He's yeah, asleep right now. Oh my god. Listen, that's one nostril. I can't breathe from it. <laughs> Do you ever wake up in the middle of the night because you can't breathe? No, oh, that makes me so sad. I feel so bad because I understand. I have sweaty hands and black eyes. Oh, that's why. Yeah. Um, I was born ri- ridiculously, retarded. yeah, <laughs> ridiculously <laughs> retarded. I was born extremely premature. So when I was uh, born, I was allergic sense. to everything, and I was allergic to breast milk. So mm-hmm. I never. I so you had to be I never fed developed. by your dad, right? Yeah, my dad had to breastfeed. Daddy, Daddy come. Dad uh, milk. Yes. 
so I have daddy issues. Um, but I was in an incubator for like a month and a half, and on top of that, um, a little chicken girl. Yeah, I oh my god, I really look like a chicken fetus. It's really gross. Oh. Yuck. Um, they have little pictures of it. Oh, she's uh, so good. <laughs> she might die. She's is so really what they're thinking. Um, well, I was on a lot of, a lot of formula instead of um, mother's milk, so I never developed an immune system. So I was allergic to everything, and I didn't have teeth until I was three. Yeah. What? Wow. Yeah, my teeth didn't teeth come until in. you were three. So you had to be gum fed by you had to eat gum. Yeah, I only ate formula and like mushed up things until I was. Oh, well, I mean that's three. what I do every day. Yeah, it's all the same. It's like how a bird. I feeds have a soft grungulars. So yeah. Oh, what are gr <laughs> grungulars? So that's kind of uh, what I Excellent. do on a daily basis. Exactly, yeah. mama bird time. I mean, you could see a definite example of that on Friday Night Lights. Friday, yeah. Tuesday Night Game Friday. Yeah. Tuesday. Friday, fries, fries for everyone. Fries. Hot or not. <laughs> oh, God. All right. I think we're good now. <laughs> Great. We added yeah. so much to it in that short amount of time. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching Boys Only Club episode. Uh, twenty. This is the current episode. 21. 22. Yay. 22. Bye-bye. Thank you, Kip, for joining us. Ooh. Ooh. What do you My guys want from hurt. Japan?